what's up everybody welcome to my done life that's where i take you and my adventures on two wheels or four today's sort of a two wheel adventure we are going to talk about two wheels but we're going to talk about this this is the trunk tour pack if you will uh that is currently on my 2006 dyna low rider and as you can tell um sitting on my back porch right now because uh, i had to make room for the latest edition the 2011 cvo um this bike is up for sale if you're interested at the time of this video being posted um hit me up on instagram and we'll talk numbers um i will say i am i believe i am asking a fair price uh for this uh, bike with that said though we're going to talk a little bit about this tour pack this tour pack is lockable available on amazon i'll leave a link in the description below uh, this upper metal rack um, is optional. You can you do have to drill and mount it. It does come with the screws and this metal rack. Um, it does come with this backrest pad, um, fairly thick, fairly comfortable. Also has this little like skirt pad. Um, when you open this up, it is fairly decently large. It's not you know it's not a king tour pack or anything. The ad claims that you could get two helmets in here. Maybe if you had some half helmets or some bobber helmets might fit in here, but a full face helmet definitely does not fit in here. I have made a couple of modifications from the standard uh, uh, mounting and, and whatnot. So obviously this is a universal make your own mount. So I got some big bolts and some big washer. Probably recommend a plate if you can do that. I couldn't do that in this case and I'll show why here shortly. Um, I did add this rubber uh, weather stripping around the edge. Um, this is just to help to tighten it up and to ensure that it stayed watertight. I also added silicone to all the bolts and screws on the back to also uh, keep it nice and weather tight. And as you can tell from this, it has been absolutely wonderful in that case. I've not had any problems with water leakage with modifications I've done. Now in the case of uh, mounting, you can do this in a couple different ways. I decided to take an extra um, sissy bar, backrest, luggage rack. I basically didn't mount the sissy bar. I just uh, used some bolts and mounted the luggage rack. It is a detachable for this bike. Um, and then these actually did come with the bike and I use it across the uh, the luggage rack and that's held up pretty well it does flex a little bit um, we have uh, we've put quite a bit of weight on this thing so um, here's where I would say the plate inside would be very helpful uh, if you're doing this yourself um, this is available on Amazon for about 90 to hundred dollars um, I'll have to look and see what the current retail price is um, I think it's a pr pretty worthwhile buy if you have something like this and you need something kind of unique and custom that just doesn't offer, there's not something that offers that is a direct mount. And th that was pretty much the case I had here uh, with the Dyna. I needed some more truck space. I wanted something a little more comfortable for the wife. Um, for the most part though, I am gonna be taking this off the bike and putting the other tall backrest uh, luggage rack uh, that I have for this. Um, getting it ready to, uh, as I said, up for sale. It will be available uh, to go with the bike. It just won't be uh, shown with the bike when I put it out for sale. So that's the video for today. Tell me what you think below. Uh, I've seen this around on a few people. I think uh, Firecracker um, is uh, using, had one of these painted to match on her bike. And uh, so let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I thought it was pretty worthwhile buy for the price. But uh, leave a comment down below. Hope you have a great day. Have a great week. And we'll catch you in the next video.